free run beyond journeys and is an anime that has been getting incredible reviews and flashback fl flashback backlash <laughs> bro the anime Ooh. was so good i forgot the script and I want to say right off the bat that anime very much deserves it. It is legitimately so pretty, you can take a screenshot every once in a while and all those frames are going to be wallpaper worthy. And honestly, unlike in many of my reviews, I legitimately don't have anything negative to say. Well, almost. For once, I love to see an anime with actually, actually 100% incredible animation. What amazed me is that there wasn't even any situations when animation didn't look 10 out of 10. Cause I kinda got used to it. Even when the animation is amazing, in most anime, there's still some moments that kinda suck. But not in Free Ren. Just like Free Ren in her journey, the animators actually took their time cooking with the whole anime in general. The story of it is so peaceful and so nice, I was literally binging it the whole day. I got a day off on work to finish the anime. This video is not exactly like my usual anime videos. In here I'm gonna go over a few parts of the anime, nitpicking it on the way of course, I wouldn't be myself if I didn't. So, plot. Freeran and her friend Fern, and actually Stark, who joined them later, simply going from point A to point B. Until they simply reach their destination while doing simple side quests on the way. I am inevitable. Freeran's journey is honestly quite relatable. It's like when you graduate high school and realize that you didn't spend enough time with your friends, and now that they're gone, you're trying to find some kind of way to at least get in touch with them. Only in our case, we get a pretty unemotional elf who only after all of her friends are gone realized she actually attached to them. Because of that, now she has to go for a journey for maybe a chance to talk to them one last time. The thing about the journey, it's not only quite literal, it's also quite metaphorical. Free Ren, along with everybody else, goes on the same path she did with her other friends. Which reminds her of the old victories they had and brings up the old memories. Each one of which, by the way, has an impact on the character. Unfortunately, though, the original adventure with Free Ren, Gimel, and the rest, we only can see via flashbacks. And okay, guys, come on, petition to create a side series about this whole adventure to kill Demon King. Like, we were robbed of it, come on. Characters. The thing about Free Ren is in here, she's representing same old Lord of the Rings elf version. Calm, wise, and really long-living creatures. Not the one usually shown in the anime. I mean, besides ReZero, that was also pretty accurate. And because of that, because of the same old immortality issues, well, not exactly immortality, but elves' really long lifespan, Freerun has to cope with the consequences of this long life, such as getting really unemotional, unattached to everyone she meets in her life, and the depression. However, funny enough, no matter how much time you live, you're still gonna be unable to wake up early in the morning. I just love that. Free Rain as a character herself, like I already said, is amazing. She goes through an emotional changes, and the farther you go, the more you see her becoming empathetic. Which, before that, she was kinda had trouble showing due to her isolated and long life. By the way, I also quite often complain about the dub in the English anime, but okay, this time wanted to compliment it. Amazing voices for all the main characters, especially for Free Rain. In the original, she sounds a little too childish for me. And like, which is kind of weird considering she's like hundreds of years old. So in English dub, when she sounds more mature, that makes a lot more sense to me. I'm glad they, I'm glad they made that change. That was quite the show. Well done. Wow, she sounds lovely. Like I already said, the anime is actually amazing. There's like not a lot of things you can actually critique about it. However, bruh, maybe I'm just a boring nerd who likes to pick anime for his own pleasure because of too big of an ego and self-doubts, but I just I just don't like Fern, bruh. <laughs> I might say an unpopular opinion here, but I don't know, like she never sat right with me. However, though, I absolutely love her character design, like purple shades are top tier, guys. Like essentially, most of the time she's acting pretty much like Free Ren, also being unemotional and also being really powerful. 
The thing is, in Freyren's case, and I remind you, she's a pretty old elf, and it makes sense why she wouldn't show any emotions, because, well, she just got used to it. And it does make sense why she's so powerful too, because she just lived long, saw more spells. And the best part about the Free Rand's journey is that we see emotional journey within herself. Only after relieving certain memories, she finally realizes her mistakes of the past and changes as a person, finally showing us more and more emotions. In case of Fern, on the other hand, she literally walks with a pucker face all the time. In the rare moments when she does show her emotions, she just usually acts salty, especially towards Stark. Like, I don't know, it just kind of feels like Control c Control v from Freeran. I get that in case of her and Stark, actually. We do have a pre-established development that is going to happen maybe in Season 2 or 3 or something. Okay, allow me to elaborate. For example, during the mid-season fight with the demons in the city, Characters kind of fall into a tough spot where they actually have to improvise without free run in order to defeat the villains. And on Stark's part, for example, it all was perfect. He faced his fears in the sense of fighting style of his teacher. He had to become more self-confident to defeat the villain. Fern, on the other hand, just defeated the villain with ease with poker face. Barely struggling or barely having any emotional or other problems in the fight. And for most of the season it is like that. Like, I don't know, I kind of wanted to see more for one of the main characters. Bruh, this might be a weird comparison, but Chainsaw Man showed way more for secondary characters in 12 episodes. I know I probably sound like a boomer who just likes to nitpick stuff for the purpose of nitpicking stuff, and that is partially true. But like, I don't know, for 24 episodes I kinda wanted to see her, like, I don't know, change. <laughs> like, go at least through some kind of character development and not within the last couple episodes. I mean, come on, Freeran changes more and she's logically, like, she wouldn't change. Like, I w it would be okay if she doesn't because she lived like that for centuries and the adventure we see on screen is like a blink of an eye in her life. Well, just like... Just like an invincible, you know? My time here has been a speck in the span of my life. Again, still, despite all of that, I still loved watching the anime. Like I already said, I'm gonna repeat that many times because some people, some people think I hate anime as soon as I say something at least remotely negative about it. I love the anime. It's good, like, it's good. Anyway, Stark is amazing. 10 out of 10. World building. Like I already said, the world in Free Ren gives you that same old Lord of the Rings vibes. Meaning villages, miles apart, with nothing but fields in between, old cities, knights, magicians, awesome. Makes me want to reread Lord of the Rings, actually. Although the interesting part of the world is not just medieval, they do have something from the, like, current era. Like, they do have more or less modern clothes. We even see magical science, which is also kind of cool, which, like, which, like, explores magic on a different level. Like, they sold with Zoltrak or whatever the spell was. So, yeah, totally recommend Free Ren. A really good anime. You're not gonna waste your time. Like I said, it, it can kind of slow down with a change of pace somewhere in the middle, but, I mean, that's probably just me. And yeah, give me a like, tell me something in the comments. I got pretty eyes, my mom says that. Subscribe and see ya.